As with anything, when it comes to cardiac care, I want you to have a conversation with your doctor before trying any of these herbs. Welcome back my organic family. This is the Organic Sister and Happy New Year to you. Today I wanted to talk about a subject that's a little bit sticky for a lot of people. It's hypertension. And we know that 50% of Americans actually have it, whether they know it or not. And it is one of the leading causes of death. And believe it or not, you can actually treat it naturally. So let's dig into that today. So what is hypertension? Hypertension is the amount of pressure your heart pumps through the blood vessels and the arteries in your body. There are several stages of hypertension, but the American Academy of Cardiology changed the guidelines for what is normal high blood pressure. Anything below 120 systolic over 80 diastolic is considered normal. So why is hypertension such a deadly disease? Hypertension is known as the silent disease. Many people walk around with hypertension and don't even know it until a condition or an event happens. Hypertension is a leading cause of death for a lot of people over the age of 50 because of our sedentary diet and our lack of eating nutritional supplements and foods, we now are a society that is hypertensive. There is help for those who have hypertension. There are many medications on the market that treats hypertension. However, some of these medications do cause adverse events. For example, a lot of these medication causes poor circulation, fatigue, headache, nausea, and sometimes vomiting. So many people want to mitigate that. Well, I want to help you. There are things that I think you can take complementary. That means in conjunction with your medication, or there are some supplements that you can take alternatively. These are natural remedies that actually have clinical importance to actually lower your blood pressure. One of the herbs that I want to talk about is not a well-known herb. However, it is a powerhouse when it comes to lowering your blood pressure. One of the supplements that I wanna to discuss today with you is a supplement called Hawthorne. Hawthorne is one of the herbs that is anti-inflammatory. And the reason why that would be important to those of us who have hypertension or high blood pressure is because a component of hypertension is the inflammatory response. Another herb in your herbal tool chest should be hibiscus. Hibiscus is another herb that I think you should have. Not only is it a versatile herb, but it does so many things for your body. And I love it for cardiac care. The reason why I love hibiscus for cardiac care, because not only does it actually lower the blood pressure effectively, it is great at reducing high cholesterol. So if you have elevated cholesterol and also hypertension, I would suggest Hawthorne and hibiscus together to give you the added punch so that you can actually kind of tackle both problems or both conditions at the same time. Not only does hibiscus taste good, this bright red color when you um, make it in a brew or tea is absolutely amazing. And then that sweet kind of tart taste to it, make it a crowd favorite for those who actually want to take their medicine by a tea. Many people who suffer from elevated blood pressure or hypertension also have a concomitant condition as a rapid heart rate or a rapid heartbeat. Sometimes they may have a rhythm condition called atrial fibrillation. And there are many medications on the market right now that help treat these conditions. But if you wanted to also treat this condition naturally, mother work may be an alternative for you to try or concomitantly try with your blood pressure medicines. As with anything, when it comes to cardiac care, I want you to have a conversation with your doctor before trying any of these herbs. Interestingly, motherwort is really good for those who have cardiac chest pain. And I know sometimes we may not know the difference, but if you suffer from angina and you take medications for it, Motherwort will be a great complementary medication that you can take with this. And just remember, as you're taking some of these herbs, 
you might want to make sure you're checking your blood pressure regularly so that you can make adjustments. And the last herb that I want to present to you today is Moringa. Now, I'm sure you've heard of Moringa. Moringa is also known as the tree of life because this one herb treats so many conditions. And I love it because it also reduces blood pressure. You may know Moringa for um, its amazing ability to be a powerful antioxidant. You also know it to be an amazing superfood, but it also detoxifies the body. And you may not think that that's important when it comes to cardiac care and cardiac health, but it absolutely is. Anything that is poisoning or is toxic to the system does affect your heart. So using something like Moringa to not only reduce your blood pressure but also detoxifies is an absolute wonder drug or I should say maybe not wonder drug but it's a wonder supplement and not only that it tastes really great so I just want you to think about some of these herbs that we've discussed today and maybe you can put these herbs together and brew your own tea actually I love it as an elixir putting a moringa together with hibiscus with hawthorn and motherwort, with a little bit of stevia or agave, is guess what? It's just what the doctor ordered. Hey guys, I'm glad you stayed with us today. I think all of these herbs are great for your um, cardiac care and cardiac health. Many of us are on blood pressure medicines and we deal with so many side effects. And some of these medications um, do produce side effects that are unwanted. And so if you're suffering from fatigue, uh, poor circulation, headaches, nausea, try some of these. These may be just what you need as a complementary to your medications. As always, discuss this with your doctor. And if you're going to take some of these medicines um, along with these herbs, then I want you to monitor your blood pressure maybe a couple of times a day until your body gets adjusted to it and whether or not you have to adjust either your medications or reduce some of the supplements. Thank you for joining us. I am The Organic Sister. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.